Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of a brown guy trying not to get offended by religious jokes. I personally am an agnostic. And when I say agnostic, there is a guy named Christopher Hitchens. He created a scale from 1 to 7. He's a philosopher and he's the author of the book God is Not Great. So there was a scale from 1 to 7 and 1 was theist and 7 was atheist. I'm gonna be somewhere around 6.5. The reason why I'm 6.5, the reason why I'm leaving a 0.5 out is I cannot disprove the existence of God because we don't have a proper definition of God but we cannot prove it either because of the lack of evidence that we have. I'm open to whatever is going to happen. I'm open to whatever evidence that is going to come up in the future and uh, being an agnostic making fun of religions is going to be a really good experience for me. So that is what we are going to do without any further ado. Let's react to family guy making fun of religions. Go. Judaism. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Oh my god. I need context for that dialogue. Question. What are you gonna do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? And it's also why many families give their children eight days of presents. Wait, did she say eight days of presents? Yeah. Does that happen in Hornica? Do they give like eight days of presents to kids? It's gonna be really expensive for the family, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, this Judaism thing is going to be better than I thought. This is perfect, Lois. We'll expose <laughs> Loretta for who she yeah, is. Yeah, I agree Just with you. Just like Cyrano was exposed for being anti-Semitic. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. So where the Jewish people... I'm getting that there's a lot of anti-Semitism currently because of the Israel-Palestine situation. Also, there's a lot of Islamophobia going on because of what Hamas did on October 7th. I'm actually on the side of Palestinians, not Hamas. I'm not on the side of Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization. There is no question about that. There are a lot of Jews who are actually controlling a lot of wealth and are in really top positions. People think they go I like the Hanukkah. Time. Where do you think mm. we go? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Why do you think you're asking all these questions? I just, I just really want to know what happens. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a... He's talking like Jordan Peterson, you know, beating around the bush regarding every question on God. Oh man, I really love Jordan Peterson. I recently watched an interview of him with Destiny and one of Alex O'Connor. They were really trying to get his position on religion out of him and he was like beating around the bush. Sham, just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwach. <laughs> they have a lot of holidays? Jews? I don't know that. Mormonism. Tina, what are all these women doing in our living room? Well, I wish I took your advice and picked a new religion. I'm gonna be a Mormon. A Mormon? Are you sure? Come on, nailing a different wife every night? That's a no-brainer. Oh, Lois, uh, this is Kim, really? the checkout girl from the Korean market. Uh, Nancy, our postal carrier. And you know Tiffany, the filthy woman who stands downtown and screams at traffic. I ate a tube of Crest for dinner! Isn't she? Do Mormons not sleep with the Mormon men don't sleep with like the same woman multiple times? That is insane! Funny, she's Ooh, definitely that is the true. creamer that is... of my Mormon wives. Nancy, give me a beer. Uh, Mormons aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Okay, something good is also that. Great. Peter, did you just throw those women away? No. Maybe. Joseph Smith discovering the <laughs> Maybe. Book of Mormon. <laughs> oh, an old Con Ed bill. I mean, a New Testament of Jesus Christ, everyone has to sleep with me. What? And no dancing! <laughs> uh, okay. Now, see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> wow, every Najja who is committing a jihad should see that fucking clip thinking that they're gonna get 72 fucking virgins because of what they have. <laughs> They'll stop doing all kinds of jihad if they see that single family guy clip. God. I was just kidding when I told my family I loved them. I am Mahmoud. I'm Peter. You know, I never seen a hat like that before, Mahmoud. so I'm very scared of it. No, this it's called is a skeleton a hat, right? It's a traditional Muslim prayer cap. Oh. Hey, you so know that was a different name for that. Those, the Monopoly guy. <laughs> Correct. Go directly to jail and convert to Islam. Because <laughs> they do that. <laughs> yes, that is what I intended. <laughs> hey, you're all right, Mahmoud. <laughs> you too, Peter. So, uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on channel, it is 14, true that a lot of people, a lot of young people, are actually converting to Islam. 
there are the not there's like a different reason for that but that's going to be a different video i am very dirty and should not be touched by humans ah. so this is not what did they little. do he's an impressionist he's been screwing with your Why head the well, this thing is worthless like my palestinian alarm clock Allahu akbar what no comments hinduism yay yes i am an agnostic so uh, i am not too excited the pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered focused mind look out ah! what are you doing oh. oh i thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle i have seen this clip before this spot is a <laughs> sacred adornment it's a portal an opening through which all light goodness rejuvenation joy and ecstasy may <laughs> enter the human form a vagina a vagina get out <laughs> Actually it kind of describes everything you know what he said right now It's a portal and all the through which all light goodness rejuvenation joy and ecstasy may enter the human I agree with the last part but all light an opening through which all light goodness rejuvenation all light goodness rejuvenation I wouldn't call that equivalent to penis but everything else sorts here and that makes sense and joy and ecstasy may yeah. enter the human form a vagina of a vagina get out now for a big juicy steak how dare you oh no cows are see, sacred that's right uh, let me clear something up about this whole scene okay why did Wes anderson come here to make his worst movie Stuart, good question quick hit the red buttons he could have made a better movie <sighs> wow that came in handy yeah now let's, let's get out of here the wieners look like yeah yeah no let's get out of here You're an atheist. Offend God. Let me just make this clear to you. Not everywhere in India we worship cows. There are places where cows are considered really sacred and we don't eat that kind of meat. That being said, India is the third largest exporter of beef. It's not like we don't eat beef anywhere. And even Hindus at certain places eat cows or beef. Uh, I have seen like people in American podcasts and all saying that you know people worship cows in India. It's not a general statement. We do have like all kinds of religion in India, and people have different traditions, cultures, and all. Right? Somewhere it is like a little more Indian. Somewhere it is not. Say something you couldn't say on TV. All right. Hey God. <laughs> not me. You can't say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is Indra, right? I think Indra is the one who controls slightly. Can't say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And he's sitting above the Christian God. Look this up. But they also don't believe in demonstrating emotions either way, so they're the worst people to buy birthday gifts for. I know you've been having But, trouble getting around, oh, so I yeah. bought you a new Lexus, and I got you this tie clip. Thank you both. These are equal to me. Screw you. You don't even own a tie. <laughs> I really like the idea of Buddhism, you know, like the idea of enlightenment. We are all chasing for like desires and attention and validation from other people. And when you like throw that away, you get some peace. I like that concept in Buddhism. Atheism. Yes. Yes. I'm an agnostic, oh, but yes. And I think I know just what to do. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story tonight, just when you thought the world couldn't be any more dangerous, Channel 5 mm -hmm. News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. The <laughs> churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Oh, shocking to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god, even if it's a smelly brown god. Why are you doing that? Cuz I'm mad at this guy. I'm mad at this jar of pickles I can't open. Nail it up. Oh, come on, Brian. Let's be honest. I freak with the old to the past. All right. Again. So, uh, I guess we'll <laughs> split the bill 13 ways. <laughs> I I've seen this clip. Judas, he ordered like five margaritas <laughs> all he had was a salad. Judas had a real motivation for that. If somebody did that to me, I'd probably nail that guy to the wall. Okay, <laughs> it makes sense. People got along just fine for the past. Without AA. Not Judas. No, they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? You've got to stop living in your See, there is a lot of good that came out of religion, but I do believe that negative things kind of outweighs the good. 
that's actually a really good question because religion gives purpose to a lot of people a lot of people claims that a lot of good that was done in the world was because of religion the statement is that even without a religion all those good things could have happened but the primary thing that i like about religion is it gives purpose to a lot of purposeless people like without purpose a lot of people might be nihilist and might be suicidal in your own stupid worlds i'm sorry but i can't be with someone who doesn't believe in jesus hey hey heard my name wow jesus are oh, you dead Lois doesn't believe believe in jesus? jesus is gonna kill you and then we're gonna bury you in a yard next to kathy island i i i, I mean i, I mean nice weather we're having look peter i thought it might interest you to know that i'm jewish what He's Jewish, Peter. <laughs> Jewish like full on like you practice Jewism? I am a Jew. Prove it. What's a 9% tip on a $200 bill? $18, which is fair. Oh my god, it's true. <laughs> Lois, I think we're wasting our time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. But their beliefs are crazy, Brian. I don't know who's crazier. These people are those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our savior and we remember him by going to church and praising him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> 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 You know, I was so desperate there for a while. I even tried a Jewish club. Ah, uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe yeah, in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, we'll not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Go, Thank Tree, you, Jesus. Tree Jesus. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I laughed a lot in that. I have already uploaded two more Family Guy videos. Uh, you can check that out. It's there on my channel. It was a really good video. I laughed a lot in that video. I'm really glad that Family Guy does not hold back on any of these topics. Religion, politics and even stereotypes, right? I think the last couple of videos are primarily focused on like stereotypes and I'm really glad they're calling it out you know it, it's actually a chance for people to like validate their beliefs and assess it based on like rational ideas okay that'll be it for this video I'll be reacting to more family guy compilations because I want to get more views and more views will help me monetize this channel so yeah I don't care about you guys I don't care about what you guys think the only thing that I care about is like making money that is why I'm going to react to more family guy I'm just kidding I love family guy I want to react to more of these clips I really had a lot of fun actually watching this and I really hope you guys have fun watching this video so if you do hit the thumbs up and let youtube know you like what you're watching if you actually like you're watching and if you don't like it still hit the thumbs up button and i see you guys next video good night and goodbye